Hey, what's going on, folks? It's Mark with another obscure microphone review for you today. And it's another Sure microphone. What a friggin' surprise. It's a Sure 588 SD to be exact. Uh, picked this thing up off of eBay for 27 27 dollars i believe on ebay and it's a unisphere b seems a little vintagey so i thought gotta pick it up try it and yeah it's uh it, it's not what i thought it was doesn't sound horrible uh doesn't sound fantastic or great but it is a sure microphone 588 sd i can already say one thing I like it better than the BG 1.0 and the Audio-Technica HE 1000. That's for sure. So let's, uh, let's, let's get on with this thing. So we've got a sure microphone, all metal body, metal grill, very tight knit metal grill, kind of like the BG 1.0, uh, doesn't have like that loose pattern, like the SM 58 real tight, 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 like a toy guy, tight construction. So. What do I think about this mic first off? Like all sure microphones, it is definitely built like a, I need a different word. I don't want to say the T word. This is built like a steel beam. Yeah. Built like a steel, like a rock. It was strong as it could be. I don't, I don't know if those are the right words or not. But this thing is built extremely well. Uh, and from what I can tell, can take a beating. So for that, I'll give it a point. I don't have a point rating system, but I'll give it a point anyways. I do hear some plosive issues. And I, I know that I've done that on videos before. And then when I've listened back, the plosives aren't as apparent. Apparent? 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 parents just don't understand so there's definitely some plosive issues here um i don't like plosive issues i've got the sm61 i could wire up at any time and not get a single plosive and i could just pu -pu -pu right into it so this has the plosive issues whatever you know i'm already going to give this one a uh, mediocre review it doesn't sound horrible but man i have got this thing I have got my mixer driving this thing harder than an SM58. This thing is more power hungry than an SM58. Power hungry mics are okay, I guess. If you have a cloud lifter or cathedral pipes Durham, like you see in the background here, which I love half the price of a cloud lifter and, and performance is like 99% of the cloud lifter. So it takes a lot to get some sound out of this thing. And I'm kind of disappointed in that. I've got this thing cranked like almost 100, almost hundred out, son. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and hundred it out. There we go. I turned up just the slightest bit to get it to 100. So I've got my gain set on 50, the level set at a hundred percent. Guess I could go ahead and crank the gain and then you could figure out, oh, hey, look, there's more noise out of it. But I also start getting into the yellow. Don't really like to do that. So let's dial that back a little and that's, that's where we'll leave it at. So the Sure 588SD Unisphere B, uh, like I said, you can pick it up for 20 to 35 bucks. I did turn around and sell this thing for 35. Peace out. See you later. Don't care. Uh, it, it doesn't sound bad, but man, you got to drive it. You have to drive the heck out of this thing. So before I pair it up against the SM58, as per the standard of the show, industry standard is the SM58. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this microphone a yellow light. I don't think it's bad. I mean, it sounds okay, but it, you just got, you have to put too much power in it. Way too much power. I'm about to turn on 48 volts and see what happens. Not really. But I give it the yellow light because I do think it sounds okay. Uh, if you want to pair it with a uh, mic activator or a good preamp, eh, it might be just fine for you. But but for me, if I can get uh, more with less, less gain, get more volume out of it, 
Uh, there's really no reason to spend money on this thing, in my opinion. But yellow light, if you love sure microphones like me, and you do like the way it sounds, which is not bad. It's a little crispy. I think it's a little bit crispy. But other than that, there's nothing terrible about the way it sounds, in my opinion. It, it just takes too much gain. I've said that 50 times. Let's go ahead and do this uh, comparison here with the SM58. Hopefully we don't get a uh, mic fail as I've done before. <sighs> no mic fail. No mic fail. All right. I have the SM58 turned all the way down. So here's the 588, 588SD. Uh, Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. And there's a tool poster on my wall. We're singing, uh, I've ever done, SM58. Oh, so much better. Am I Am I even on the screen still? I think I am, but let's turn this. Whoop. All right, so here's the SM58. The gain is not nearly cranked up as much as the 588 SD, and this is how it sounds. It sounds better. Barely a yellow light on the 588 SD. This thing sounds a lot better. A lot fuller, a lot clearer, and uh, this, uh, like I said, not horrible. That's why I yellow lighted it, but it's just not enough to make the purchase for me. No. SM58 for life. S you know something, brother? I've got the SM58, brother, and it's for life, brother. Okay. Back to uh, the SD, and we're going to turn cut all power to the uh sm58 so if you like the way it sounds and you want to pick it up whatever go ahead i yellow lighted it uh i don't care for it that much but it's a it, it's a tank i said it it's a tank built like a tank barks out peace out obscure bikes